The City Music Series on today is proudly presented to you by City. Y'all, there is country royalty in our house today. Mm -hmm. Grammy winners, Tanya Tucker and Brandi Carlisle. For oh, decades, Tanya got... Tucker <laughs> has made a unique mark on country music, amassing 56 top 40 singles, mm. including, of course, this Ooh. song that plays on, girl. in our house all the time, mm. Delta Dawn. <laughs> her unmistakable voice and unapologetic ways have made her a hero to many, including one young woman named Brandi Carlisle. So a few years ago, long after Tanya had left the spotlight, Brandi decided to reach out to her hero and write an entire album for Tanya based on her extraordinary life. That journey was captured in a new documentary. It's incredible. <laughs> we watched it. It's called The Return of Tanya Tucker. Take a look. Elvis was big Elvis, to me. Yeah. Elvis was really a big... Uh, he was really influential to me. It's funny, I've never really uh, had any girl, uh, mostly Haggard, and mm. to me, Haggard was everything. He was just like... See, well, when I was a kid, it was you. You were everything. That's wow. Because, huh? well, because you sounded so tough. And I knew I was a little bit different. Yeah. I knew that, like, my gender wasn't on point right. with the other women in my family, mm -hmm. and I felt a little bit different. But I was like, Tanya sounds tough, you know? Yeah, and I still remember every word, all those songs by heart, and every growl, every growl you did, and every time you said, hey, with your little yell yeah. in front of the H, yeah. every time. Oh, oh. y'all, first of all, this is amazing that y'all are sitting here. We're so excited that oh, you're with us gosh. in this moment. Is it true, Miss Tanya Tucker, that when Brandy first said, hey, I want to do this cool thing with you, you were like, who the hell is Brandy? <laughs> well, she, she didn't ask me. Yeah. Uh, right. But uh, they said she was going to call me. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I was getting an IV because I was at bronchitis in Vegas. Yeah. And, and Shooter was there. Shooter Jennings. Yeah, yeah. Shooter Jennings. The whole thing was partner. really his idea. Yeah, ex that's, it, it all comes. Yeah. yeah. It all started with Shooter, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. and, and he put y'all on and a text. And he mentioned it to her. He put us he together. He realized. He that put y'all on a text, and what was her response in the text? She said, well, I said, who she the hell's that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> no, but I didn't know her music, and I, I, I'm up to date now, but then I did not. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I had no idea how incredibly talented oh, she is. She mm -hmm. is a talent. Just forget you know, if, if I didn't even like her. She is a talent, talent. but w watching this documentary mm -hmm. was so beautiful because what we realize is without you, mm -hmm. people like mm -hmm. Brandy, who mm -hmm. is an insane talent, somebody yes. I admire a lot, mm -hmm. oh. wouldn't, wouldn't reach. have that reach. Wouldn't, you know, so many women have learned from you. Oh, Lord. I, I, I well, I'm, <laughs> thank you. I th I'm wondering what you, you guys are talking about over here. <laughs> I'm not sure I know that girl. It's really, really true. Like, Tanya's voice was uh, it so permeated um, a certain kind of woman in roots music that it gave it was permissive for this kind of toughness, this yeah, gait, yeah. this like ability to stand your ground, you know. And mm -hmm. Tan Tanya, she's she rides rodeo, she rides horses, <laughs> she drives pickup trucks. Oh, she's yeah. just everything. She's such a incredibly influential and powerful <laughs> woman, you know. You are Tanya. It was so interesting to watch your life unfold in this beautiful documentary. We couldn't sleep last night. We no. watched it. Oh, we don't live together, it. but we we, we were do. kind of do. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but watching your life and the journey you took on and I thought your ability to open up to Brandy too because in the beginning Brandy was just a stranger and little by little pieces of your life just came out and Brandy you were like scratching them down, writing yeah. them down. Oh, yeah. You felt a trust right away. Yeah. Yeah, um, it, 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 you know, I had to look back on it to really, really get a good glance yeah. at it because uh, it was just very, it just, you know, the first time I met her outside the studio, right? Mm hmm. Uh, right before we walked into to work together. I mean, I'm thinking, who else does that? I mean, nobody yeah. does that. Just like meeting somebody, let's go to work, you know? Yeah. And uh, it, it was like I felt, I told her that, that minute, I, I, I felt like I'd known her all of my life, or all of hers at least, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, uh, and you know, there's, but then I look back and I think about all the first, mm. because I didn't know that there was a lot of first left for me, I thought I'd yes. pretty much done it all, but there was a lot of first on that album, and uh, uh, one of them is that I've never had anybody inside the vocal booth when I'm singing. I saw that. Was that when unnerving? Yeah. By the way, Brandy, that takes some guts, you're like, hey, you're like, hey. 
Uh, no, Ms. but Tucker. Th they're going. Uh, you, not like you, that's not that's not right. She just would say, "Would you like to? How would you like? What do you think about doing this?" Uh, and and I was easy, wasn't I? Oh yeah. Except for that one time. <laughs> I thought well. <laughs> that one song, you know. You were everything. You were your spirit was led. You led with your spirit, and I just thought she needed a friend in there. It wasn't. It, it wasn't that I think there's anything I can do better than Tanya freaking Tucker. It's that I just thought she needed a friend. She just needed a fan. And I was such a fan that I was going nuts in that control room. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't hear me. Yeah. She no, couldn't I couldn't see that I was rocking back and forth. Like, well, I could hear her in the vocal mind. booth, though. Yes. <laughs> so I got in the vocal booth so she could see that she was winning. That, I mean, that's it, a first one. Well, that was I loved so, it. It was now awesome. I can't do without it. Yeah, I was going to say, well, are y'all going to do more? Yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh. I didn't know we were going to do this new one. <laughs> but we you, did. You know we got a new love, one coming out. I love your whole vulnerability like you said i'm scared to say just singing you were saying to yourself before you went to sing. Oh, i'm, I'm, just, I'm always just, saying that you're always saying that i always like every performance god i hope they like me tonight you know it's a, it's a part i think a part of my my presence or my being an entertainer mm -hmm. is that i want to please i mm -hmm. really really am a john q public out there is <laughs> what i'm mm -hmm. trying to we're trying to second guess we're trying to yeah. f mm -hmm. figure out what they're going to like you yeah. know as, that's, a, that's what we mm -hmm. do. As we watched this film, mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was 17 years. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I mean, that's a, te uh, that's a teenager right that you didn't put out music yeah. and that it was kind of like you lost your parents. Mm -hmm. You lost these people mm -hmm. that and felt slightly untethered, mm -hmm. you that know? Started it, I think that started it off, me unraveling. Uh, but uh, I kind of just lost my mojo. But... Uh, uh, what, you, no. you think you would have put out music if, if Brandy hadn't? No, nobody, I don't think anybody really cared at that time. Well, I'd have oh, probably yeah. done it if somebody else would have asked me, mm -hmm. you know, but nobody asked the me. the right person asked you. And I didn't have a manager, so, uh -huh. uh, you know, I think we should, I said, we just need to start our management company called Miss Management. <laughs> oh, I'd be the, I'd be the great one there. I'd be the Brandy. first one. Hey, Brandy, what's your favorite Tanya song? <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's really hard to say. I actually think it's the newest one. I think it's called Ready As I'll Never Be. Mm. Yeah. That's my favorite Tanya song. And Tanya wrote you that know, song I think I did with me. Write it by myself. You did. Oh. It, it, just like Bring My Flowers Now. Like, I love yeah. that song. Tanya's a writer. She's a reluctant writer. Trying to get out of a singer's body, right? <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's a reluctant uh, writer. She's a reluctant feminist. And uh, <laughs> she's just really powerful. And when she writes a song, she writes a song with her wisdom. And then you just kind of come in and you sculpt it and you put it things that she says in place and the next thing you know you've got this really powerful sense what about what were you doing while you were writing music with your hero probably writing another one i don't know i've seen her write a song in the middle of uh, writing recording song? oh really yeah she does it all the time i was just lost in in yeah. uh tanya's yeah. story and in and in her strength and vulnerability the thing that you guys that's keep it. pointing out it's intoxicating that's it those two things together are kind of rub up against each yeah, other they don't do, they but they're a beautiful kind of like us. our yes. relationship yeah. i mean just, no y'all you know what i'm glad y'all matched like, this, yeah. <laughs> this defines who we are together like, <laughs> who is it <laughs> who are you you're the professor orange from head to toe yes i'm, I'm like uptight and yeah up. but i've also seen her when yeah, she's covers. out there with her big old ford truck and, <laughs> and going to get the christmas tree and and uh and I go, well, who did who built the studio? I did. You know, she does all that stuff. Oh, wait, what? Well, yeah. Let's take a quick, let's take a okay. break. Just because we have to have a commercial. We're Don't coming right back. Anywhere, okay? We'll have more with Tanya Tucker and Brandy Carlisle right after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so happy. Don't leave. Can you tell? They've got an incredible new documentary. You guys have to watch it. It is called The Return of Tanya Tucker. Can there are so many beautiful yeah. things that, have, that were shown in this documentary, but can we just talk about your Grammy for a minute? Oh, boy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's talk about what that moment was like for you. Well, you know, it was my 14th, 14th nomination, mm -hmm. to, and I'd lost 14 times, so <laughs> I was kind of getting used to that. <laughs> and uh, 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 I was 14 the first time I was nominated. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And uh, uh, so... I, you know, I've always said, well, it's just great to be nominated, you know. Well, that's a bunch of bull. That's not, <laughs> it ain't com really it nothing compares to winning, you know. <laughs> but but having a Brandy there and Shooter and the twins, yeah. uh, and, and, of course, my boyfriend mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, my, one of my best friends in the world, Hank Thompson, was mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And Quaid totally. showed up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so it, it was very special to me. Because mm. I, I told Brandy, I said, you know, I, I feel like I've, I've been so loved, my parents 
to begin mm -hmm. with. But just uh, uh, everything that came after that, all the love from people, my friends, from my fans. Um, and I'll always, I always have that love from my fans, I hope. But I, I felt like there was going to be less love in my future. Mm. And there was in her past. Oh. Yeah. It's just... And uh, so this, <laughs> this is all... I'm, I'm amazed at, at what's happening. <laughs> I, 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 I would have never... People love I'm you. I'm a betting girl, yeah. you know. People I like to gamble. Yes, they want to hang out with you. I, yeah, we do. Like, we don't we do. want you to leave. Everyone yeah. wants to Ever. hang out with yeah. you. Like, can you stay <laughs> for a couple <laughs> weeks? Well, then how come Paul McCartney and Elton John ain't coming over every day? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you've just They're told it. You put it in the universe. Right, put yeah. it out there. I told yeah, him I him saying, him call me and saying, I'll still love you when you're 64. <laughs> Can, you know what? Let's make that happen somehow. Yeah. We have to, you know, you wrote that song with, mm. with your, one of your dearest friends, mm -hmm. Loretta Lynn, in yes. mine. We have yeah. to just say we're so sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, it's been a very difficult week. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I, I felt uh, uh, good about the fact that I always brought her flowers. Mm. You know, I, every time I drive by going, on, going to Texas on the bus, I would think about her or stop or call her. And that's what happened. On the way to Austin, I call on the way to Austin... Yeah. L.A. by Austin. Yeah. I called Loretta when I was passing her place. Mm. And I, that's when I sang her the chorus to mm. bring my flowers. Mm. Oh, honey, what a, come back to you. We're going to write that. We're going to write that. I love that. Mm. And, of course, you know, what did, happened? Yeah. We were, did she, did she, she knew check a good in. song. She did. Did she always check in with you to see how you were doing? Uh, oh, she'd call me uh, uh, many times, many times, and say, honey, you need some money? You need some money? <laughs> I said, well, I, 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 do I? Yeah. I didn't think I did, but, <laughs> but maybe I did. <laughs> that, you know what? I loved the way y'all talked to each other. Yeah. I loved the fr the freeness well, of all say, that love. Well, she'd say, she'd say, do me, do me. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking, well, right here in front of everybody. Else. <laughs> no, I, I said, she loved me to imitate her, you know? And I said, okay, I may want the bathroom over there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loved it. She loved it. Okay, so now do me. Oh. <laughs> Not. Oh, right. Daniel Brandy. We love y'all. We love you I so much. I want to write a song. Okay. Oh, what what song? song? What? I wanted to do a song with Loretta and write it with her called More Like You. Okay. You know, she wanted to be more like Patsy. Mm hmm And then I wanted to be more like her. And I want to be more like you. Oh. So. And oh. we want to be oh. just oh. like you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's beautiful. Yeah. Wait,